I am Alyssa. I'm an American and now live my life as a young practicing Muslim in Germany. On my social media accounts, I share my own life experiences. But I wasn't always like this. Though I have been Muslim for two years, and this is how I went from this. I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Here is the baptism of Jesus Christ. To this. But how does someone from a Baptist Christian background in the United States find the path to Islam and Allah? So I'm born in America and I was raised with Southern Baptist uh, Christian beliefs and values. Around 1415 was when I started to think a bit more critically about the belief system, the culture surrounding the church and how I felt about everything. I also started to lose my interest in Christianity when I had started to critically think about the teachings in the religion and how they don't make sense to me. What was the Trinity? Who was the Holy Spirit? How was Jesus the Son of God? I thought it meant sometimes they just referred to it as like, oh, we're all children of God and Jesus was just a Son of God. But then I came to realize like, no, they actually believe he was God's son. And that was something I wasn't very sure about. I believe that Jesus was a real person and he was an important person, but I never quite understood how he could be God, but then a human at the same time, but then God's son at the same time. But then, like these things didn't make sense to me. I have also been isolated during my time as a Christian just because I wasn't been baptized yet. I remember this time when they're passing around cups of grape juice and crackers that I wasn't allowed to have one because I wasn't baptized. My brother had just gotten baptized, and so he was allowed to have juice in the crackers. But I wasn't allowed to have it because I technically wasn't a Christian and I wasn't saved. And, yeah, so I just had to sit there while everybody else was eating their little crackers and drinking their cup of juice. And I was wondering why? Because I had been at all the events that these people had been. I went to all these Christian functions, summer camps, and everything like, how could I not be considered a Christian? It was very confusing for me. Although I didn't face any significant religious trauma, but I slowly feel myself pulling away from Christianity. I even stopped calling myself a Christian from the age of 15. For the next five years, I considered myself as an atheist. I was introduced to Islam for the first time when I was pursuing my bachelor's from an international university in Belgium, where I met Muslims from around the world. Although I didn't feel interested in the beginning, the coming Ramadan changed my life. It wasn't until one Ramadan that my friends told me that they were going to be fasting and they were not going to eat during the day or drink during the day, and they were just letting me know and I said, oh, that's really interesting. I never heard about Ramadan. I didn't know anything about... I didn't even know what fasting really was. My friends explained it to me. It sounded really, really interesting. I had never heard or experiencing anything like that. So I asked if I could fast with them, and of course, they were more than excited to let me fast with them. So during that month, we were fasting, and my friends were praying and watching Islamic videos, and I just asked, like, Oh, what are the typical things you do outside of fasting during Ramadan? And they told me, okay, so we were supposed to, it's a time of learning, we're supposed to read a lot of Quran. We're supposed to give charity. And these types of things, and I said, oh, the Quran, like, I didn't know you guys had book like that. I never read it. I'd be really interested to. And so they were really excited to give me a copy, and I just started from the beginning. When my friend gave me a copy of the Quran, I didn't realize the impact it would have on me. Initially, I planned to read only a page or two. I read through the entire Surah Al-Baqarah and felt it tug at my heart with its simplicity. From that moment on, I spent an entire year researching and learning about Islam through Quran, friends, and Islamic lectures. I would continue to just make small adjustments in my lifestyle, and the things that I was doing, and the things that were around me, the way I was dressing, just also like my demeanor and working on like on more internal and then came at the point where I accepted Islam I just thought to myself like why am I delaying it anymore especially reading like the consequences of dying a disbeliever I thought what is the point I already 
I'm so D. I've already given up so much. Just... Just do it. So, I took my Shahada just with one of my friends in a room. Since then, I have shared a lot of experiences I has had as a Muslim. From telling my family to the dreadful experience I have had at the airport. I can't remember exactly who I told first from my family, but I think it was my mother. She's Christian, and I knew that she would probably be a bit concerned or confused. But at the same time, she had known that wasn't a Christian at that point. So it's not like I went from being Christian to Muslim and it was kind of a big shock for her. She kind of knew that I wasn't very fond of Christianity and that I read different kinds of books about different religions and she knew that I just was interested in all types of different things. Of course, my mom is just a typical American Christian lady and she doesn't know much about Islam or she didn't at that time. She also had some of the similar prejudices and may be concerned that somebody who has only heard about Islam. Her immediate concerns were just for my overall well-being and the happiness and making sure this was a decision that I really wanted to do or wanted to take and that my rights as a woman were still protected and I reassured her that they were. And after that, I think she accepted it pretty quickly and she mentioned that I was going to be living a healthier lifestyle. And that was something that she was happy. My brother, on the other hand, he's older than me, but he doesn't subscribe to any kind of religion or religious beliefs. And he basically just told me that whatever I wanted to do, as long as it made me happy. He was happy, and that was kind of it with him. My family response was generally positive, although a bit hesitant at first. I was reassured that my family support my decision and cared for me regardless. My family was opening to the idea of letting me convert and find the real essence of peace. However, that didn't mean I don't have to face hurtful remarks and insulting comments. Many acquaintances criticize my decision which were really hurtful at first, but I'm grown enough to stop caring about them. The nice side of things was that it wasn't my family that I had an issue with, but I was also my family friends that would make comments to them about my decision, and they would bring those comments to me. Which a lot of times would be a bit hurtful comments, or it just really ignorant comments that just kind of useless for them to say. And so this is something that kind of annoys me, which at this point it doesn't bother me so much anymore. Although I'm really gets upset my family has to deal with such comments. But you know, this is the reality of life. I put on the hijab last Ramadan, and during that time last year, I took a trip to see my good close friend in Egypt for a week. I really wanted to change myself to wear this scarf all the way through airport security, because I feel like that was an experience I had heard a lot about that. If you're a Muslim, you're going to experience a lot more difficulties at airport security, especially if you're visibly Muslim. So, this was something I really wanted to put to the test and I wanted to try, up until I went to walk through the metal detector, and the lady on the other side was doing this to me. She was like signaling for me like, take off my scarf, and I just looked at her and I was like, no, I don't have to, and I'm not going to take it off. So, then she comes up to me, she's like, why aren't you going to take it off, and I said, because I'm Muslim. I'm not going to take this off and I don't have to. Turns out this lady was Muslim herself too. Since I was had wearing the hijab loosely, as I was still in the starting stages, I felt the lady was demeaning by telling me you're not wearing a real hijab. Especially she didn't know this is my second week ever trying to wear the hijab. For me that was really hurtful and it was just a feeling that I couldn't get over for the next hour. 